Donald, a uh, big game today for the boys uh, up against Essendon. Uh, what are you expecting from the guys when they run out? Oh, just a good effort, you know. Just the same sort of effort that we've had the last few games here. So, As boss, have you been impressed with the, the intensity that the guys have been able to put out there consecutively? Yeah, I think they've been um, terrific since the Hawthorne game. I mean, it's um, been a real consistent performance right across the side. You know, the leaders have been sensational. Young blokes have come through and I think Brad's coaching has been really good and settled and um, game plans, nice and easy for the boys to carry out. So, again, if the desperation's there again today, we're a good chance. How much does the rivalry um, play in today's match? Yeah, it's there. You know, I mean, like, I read about... Um, Lloydy talking about how they despise the kangaroos. So, yeah, the ruse of, um, you know, there's a bit of feeling there, and it goes back even when I played and prior to that. I mean, it's just, a, I suppose, a, more a local cross-town thing, but also it's probably over the journey got a bit deeper than that. Good on you, mate. Good luck. Good on you, mate. What are you excited about today? Uh, defenders have got a big job. Yeah, they've got a big job. Um, Essendon Fords are in form at the moment, so um, and their quicks are going well, so we'll have our hands full. How do you sort of equate someone like a Stuart Crammery coming back into the side? He hasn't been in there for a little while. Do you just look back on his film, what he is capable of? How do you sort of get the guys focused on him? Yeah, absolutely. So we went through the key forwards the other day and who'd get those jobs. And he's probably the most dangerous forward because he can get it in the air on the ground. Um, left footer. Had a real good game against us uh, round one. So um, really dangerous. Mate, Nathan Grimer gave you a bit of a plug in the uh, Herald Sun today, but uh, he specifically mentioned you relaxing him a little bit. Um, have you done that with all the defenders or him specifically? Uh, just horses for courses. Um, he gets really uptight if he has too much football information. So with him, it's just um, give him as little as possible and um, it seems to work for him and he's, he's going okay. Unique character. Maybe you should just slap him. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Uh, midfielders got their uh, work cut out for him today. Oh yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, Joe Watson's a really important player to them. So we've got to obviously curb his influence. You know, not only around the uh, stoppages, but you know when the game breaks open too, he's got the ability to get out. And, um, you know, they've got some other good young players coming through there now: Dyson Heppel, um, Jake Melsham. You know, Hocking will obviously go to one of our guys and uh, make his uh, his day pretty hard for them. But so yeah, it's going to be a really important battle. Mate, everyone's been asking Brad Scott about what the um, strategy is going to be going up against Joe Watson. We might as well ask you, the man who's going to be in charge of it. So uh, what what is the uh, course? Oh look, you know, I think um, you know we want to actually nullify his ability to actually win the footy in close. So we'll have a plan for him. Um, you know, especially around the congestion. Um, but we also hope to um, expose his, his leg speed uh, or lack of leg speed with a few guys. So hopefully we can uh, get some guys um, with a little, little bit of leg speed going through him that can actually spread and, and try to um, challenge him defensively. All right, good on you, mate. Good luck. Thanks, mate. So, right, well on, Fruity. And uh, Brett Allison for the forwards today, mate. You must have been wrapped uh, with their performance in the last couple of weeks. Important, though, to carry that into uh, the game against Essendon. Yeah, no doubt. Look, they're starting to, to gel pretty well, uh, you know, particularly the three tall fellas. So, um, so you've been in good in good nick lately, um, and certainly need really important that they carry that on today. Brad's commented about judging them as a unit. Um, is that how you speak to them as a unit? They're working really well as a unit, as opposed to as individuals. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, not all of them are going to um, hit the scoreboard. You know, kicking three, four, five goals every week. So, so it comes down to a bit of a team effort in the end. And as long as they're all working for each other and and um, you know sticking to their right leading patterns, taking their opponents out of the way so that they they get one-on-one -on -one contests, then um, yeah, we we reap the rewards from that. Good luck, mate. Okay, thanks a lot. Brad, massive game today. Uh, how pumped are you? Yeah, looking forward to it. I think it's a good test for us and Essendon are a good side, so um, we'll get a chance to see where we're really at.